G'day, I'm Rob Brownie from Inside Acumen, and welcome to another video about models built using Extensim. This model is a management service provider model where we're looking at management team, work share, and skill sets. What, um, the picture on the screen is a screenshot of the model. I have actually done some redacting. These areas in black here, I've redacted this information due to uh, sen potential sensitivities. And for the management um, service uh, provider model on the management team, we, we had services including strategic partner, capability partner, and integrated work partners. So there's a bunch of setting up inputs to do in Excel to make it easy for the people using the model. And this particular <coughs> table, pardon me, we would set up a services schedule in choosing the services type, the complexity, and if we had a user-defined complexity, then we would choose, be able to choose skill sets required you know, further to the right in this table, or we could just set a, a default position, for example, a high number of skill sets, and if we choose a high number of skill sets, then by default, we would be setting skill sets further to the right in the model, and all this information would be then imported into the database of Extensim just prior to runtime. So this was the setting up of a services sheet. This tab in the input in input workbook was WorkShare, where we have tables for skill sets, WorkShare percentages, WorkShare total skill sets, team membership changes from day zero through year one, two, three, four, and five, and then total work share in terms of what was planned. This would, um, this is further down the work share tab. This is a calculated table looking at the total work share and it would produce a couple of plots to see how things looked on the input side before the model was uh, was run using this data. And we had time ranges we'd also set on the time ranges tab. For the task numbers, we had description, whether it was capability partner, strategic or integrated work partner, and information about the bid and the, the task. We wanted to add an element of uncertainty to those particular aspects of the project. For services category composition, this is where we were able to split up by percentages for the different categories, which we did and further imported this just prior to running. So therefore the standard question is, so what? Well, using the model, we could test different schedules, work share percentages, skill sets required, and composition of the integrated project teams. Top left plot, is the composition of one of the uh, one of the teams the plot to the right hand side the plots for capability partner strategic partner and integrated work partner over time and the bottom plot shows the uh, skill sets forecast demand over a five-year period this chart shows forecast demand by skill sets and the type of skill set. For example, this chart here shows the skill sets for program management, number of skill sets required for engineering and tech, for material log, commercial, performance, authoring and writing, and BD was the bottom one. It's not quite showing on the plot there. These are my details. Feel free to contact me on my email via my website. You'll also find me on LinkedIn. And this was a management service provider model. Thanks very much for watching.